Sunshine Sachs hauls Meg to court to get unpaid invoice back as she evades debt of one year. Red alert to WME. Megan and Harry's former PR company Sunshine Sachs seems to send a dire warning to WME agency in a new move. Since she's been the Duchess of Sussex after marrying Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, Meghan Markle, has been through two public relations firms. First, she was with Sunshine Sachs, which was reportedly her agency, when she was an actor. Then she joined WME agency as a client of Ari Emanuel, the CEO of WME and one of its top agents. Recently, WME talent agencies working overtime to make Meghan out to be reliable. The WME agents are doing everything possible to make the Duchess of Sussex the kind of person who wants to repair the rift with the more famous in-laws. Sorry, but it's not working. Not only is Meghan incompetent, but she also has a history of stealing money from her partners. It's a warning to WME, as they were not getting her a contract. Then she'll blame them and refuse to pay the bills. There was a rumour that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were fired from Sunshine Sachs due to unpaid invoices. Sunshine Sachs has been trying to get Meghan to pay her bill for quite some time now, but Meghan keeps saying it's coming. Speculation was that she anticipated an enormous windfall via marching contracts and sponsorship deals after attending the Platinum Jubilee that she intended to use to pay the Sunshine Sachs bills. So when they were sidelined and ignored at the Jubilee by royal members, those deals didn't come so Meghan had to scramble to find money to pay Sunshine Sachs. If this were true, it would be horrible PR for them, as it shows them as unreliable and even more talentless than they already are. If the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were talented and had a better work ethic, the rumours wouldn't be making the rounds. A source earlier revealed that the two sides were in litigation for a year because Sunshine Sachs wanted Meghan to pay debts for them, however Harry and Meghan are too scared to get back into court. The thing is, had the Harcourts bought a modest home outright and invested the rest of his inheritance, they'd have had a nice little income to lead the quiet and private life they so desired, which would give them time to find jobs too. Their costs since leaving have far exceeded their income, an expensive house with a giant mortgage and expensive upkeep, excessive security, excessive travel, excessive wardrobe. The taxes will be minimal, because they're funneling it all through businesses and their foundation. In fact, they may not even be paying taxes after expenditures, they may be at a loss on paper. The Markles thought they were the stars of the show. The Hollywood players led them down the garden path, thinking they'd get access to the royal family through these two. But they found out these two don't have inside access to anything but their own delusions. Meghan Markle's PR is an absolute mess. Sunshine Sachs couldn't get her to work on anything other than self-indulgent projects where she takes swipes at her in-laws in whatever way she can. The WME talent agency is not having any luck either. In April, Meghan signed for representation with WME, which represents top artists in every major music category and book more than 30,000 dates globally. However, so far, Meghan's career has not been very positive.